Our project today is about academic tracking. We chose this topic because after talking about each of our high school experiences, we discovered that for both Eva and Haley, who went to school at City High here in Iowa City, male students tended to dominate the upper level STEM program. In Shelby's high school, which was a very rural area, it was more female dominated for the upper STEM programs. And as for my school in Davenport, it was a big mix of both males and females in the upper STEM programs. So this mismatch in our experiences inspired our research question. What are the differences in the way that boys and girls are tracked in STEM classes in rural Iowa? We interviewed a bi biology teacher at CCA over in Tiffin, who's been teaching science for 20 years in both upper and lower track classes. We also interviewed a student who's in her junior year of high school who is mostly in honors classes to get her perspective. To determine how students are normally tracked, we asked who is involved in the decision-making process for upper-level classes. The teacher answered that once the student is an upperclassman, they have the ability to choose the science or STEM classes they were interested in. However, as an underclassman, students that are seen as upper-level are placed in both biology and chemistry. This is normally up to the teacher to decide. We also asked what the teachers look for in a potential upper-level class student because we wanted to know the criteria for the decision process. The teacher answered that they look for preparation for tests, maturity in the classroom, and performing well on projects or assignments. To find out the gender demographics in upper-level courses, we asked the teacher if they recognized any odd trends of these demographics in the classroom. The teacher stated that certain classes like anatomy have always been female-dominated. Also, there are students at CCA that are in programs such as STEM for Girls, a program that encourages women to get into male-dominated careers. We then asked the teacher what factors they thought were causing this trend. The teacher said they often see these classes female-dominated due to the healthcare field, more specifically nursing. More women tend to enter these fields for the nurturing aspect. These fields appeal more heavily to women because women by nature tend to be more nurturing. The first question we asked was, what classes are you in and how many AP or honor courses have you taken so far in high school? Her answer was AP language and composition, AP calculus, chemistry, anatomy, German, PE, choir, and American history. We decided to ask this question just to see what sorts of classes she was in and if she was possibly being tracked into classes of a certain area of study and how many she had taken so far in high school to get an idea of what AP classes are generally offered at CCA. The second question we asked was, do you think there are such thing as smart kids classes and dumb kid classes? And what is the difference? Her answer was yes. The content is different for both classes because it's both fast paced and the workload is heavy. And because some of these classes are specifically slowed down and then there are some regular classes and then sped up classes, which would be the AP classes. The reason we asked this question was to get a student's opinion on what she personally thought about the classes offered and if she thought that there was any clear distinction between the AP classes and the normal high school classes. The third question we asked was a three part question. The first part was, do you think you are smart? Her answer was, it depends on the subject. The second part was, do you think you're hardworking? Her answer was yes. The third part was, how do you think the school sends you messages about your abilities? Her answer was, I feel like a lot of the teachers here are very encouraging and helpful. I feel like almost in the lower classes, they have even more encouragement, like they are trying to help them extra. I definitely try to be liked by all of my teachers. For the most part, students and teachers have good relationships. We asked these three questions for the same reason of wanting to gain a student's personal opinion on not only herself in relation to the classes she's taking, but also if the school is encouraging or guiding the learning that is happening within just AP classes or all classes offered. Which is it seems that at Clear Creek Amana High School, our assumptions about how girls and boys are tracked into upper level STEM courses were wrong. Haley and I assumed that our high school experiences here in Iowa City were fairly universal. The boys were tracked into AP and Honor Science classes much more frequently than girls. We were surprised to find the opposite was true at CCA. Girls were tracked into higher level STEM classes much more frequently. The teacher we interviewed told us that he does his tracking simply based on perceived interest of his students, and parents don't tend to be involved. This is very different than our high school experience.
We are postulating that in Iowa City, because of the proximity to the university, more parents are professors, research scientists, and other upper-level healthcare professionals than in Tiffin. We believe that the higher proportion of professionally academic parents in Iowa City means that more parents are involved in both class registration because they tend to push their sons and daughters to excel in subject areas that they themselves are engaged in, which are, exist in gendered communities regularly. Tiffin parents, according to our source, tend to have occupations that are less academic in nature and therefore less exposure to the culture of higher education and are therefore less invested in involving themselves in the design of their children's registration each year. Teachers do more of the designing and so tracking is based on simple interest and engagement of the students. In both Loudoun, Shelby's, Shelby's hometown, and Tiffin, girls seem to be overall tracked more frequently into upper level courses because they are perceived as being more interested and engaged in the STEM material than their male peers. Hopefully in the years to come, these rural places will be great resources for cycling more women into science-oriented careers, helping to close the gender achievement gap in this subject at last.